Welcome to the Kicks and Trips YouTube channel. I'm your host, Sean, also named Sneaker AFI, Sneaker Aficionado, or Sneaker Afi. Up to you, doesn't really matter. Here with another video for your viewing pleasure. Uh, make sure you go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you're a new subscriber to the channel. Um, been posting videos fairly frequently lately, um, hoping to keep that going. Um, so feel free to share these videos and tell your friends all about us over here at the Kicks and Trips YouTube channel. It's greatly appreciated. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and unbox a new sneaker that I received uh, not too long ago. Um, this was a, a sneaker that I hit on the Nike app, surprisingly, because you know I never hit on the Nike app or sneakers that frequently. But I was blessed recently, and what can I say? And guess what it is? It's Air Jordan 1. Not a high, not a low, but a mid. And if you know me, I like mids. So this is right up my alley. So I'm enjoying this. So uh, I'll tell you what it is. So this is the uh, Air Jordan 1 Mid SE. I guess that means special edition. Uh, colorway is white, track, red, black, indiglo. This is a size 11. And it retails for 125. Indiglo. Correction. The colorway is white, track red, black, igloo. Because you know why? Because I just added a whole lot of letters. Oh. That's what we do over here. So I'm going to say this again. White, track red, black, igloo. Igloo. I-G-L-O-O. -O. That is igloo. That is igloo. Thank you. Anyway, suggested retail price is 125 Again, you know, mids have that interesting um, price point. 115 120 125 and this is the 125 is special uh special edition i guess um and it comes in the standard mid box mid and low box which is just a standard black uh box with the 23 and and gold and the gold jump man on the top and the gold jump man in the back and you get the 23 paper as well so off the top, let me tell you what these sneakers remind me of. These remind me of, and I've I've seen this being being said uh, on the internets about this being a poor man's uh, Union One um, or Union One Mid, I should say. Um, I get where people get that um, that comparison based off of the color and or the materials, um, but I will say that um, if you're a customizer, if you customize kicks, this will probably be a good base to create your own union uh, one, but um, I kind of like these. These are these are kind of dope, so uh, let me go ahead and get into them. So um, off the bat, you got the black outsole. You got your standard white all around midsole. The toe box, or at least the, the just portion of the toe box right here, is nylon. Um, I also did a review of some um, a pair like this that were blue. Pretty much the same materials, but yes, this is nylon right here, nylon around the eyelets. Um, and then the actual check or the swoosh is also nylon as well. Uh, again, it's mid, so don't expect the um, the Jordan High quality leather. This is not bad leather. It's not tumble leather, but it is definitely a nice solid pair, you know, uh, nice solid leather. It's not that stiff, but again, it's not soft and buttery like the like the ones um on the back of the hill you have this uh it's nice uh suede or new buck it's not like a well i wouldn't say suede it's more of a new buck actually correction it's not new buck it's more of a suede um not sure of the greatest suede i would say it's not like the suede on some of the other um jordan ones that we've seen this year but it is still a decent um style of of suede nice and nappy uh you go up to the anklet you have like this t-shirt or not t-shirt this sweatpant material up top i guess this is what they consider the igloo colorway which is looks like just like a mint green potentially um and that one's kind of the same material it's like a t-shirt material or not t-shirt i'm sorry I keep saying t-shirt sweatshirt material um it's a, a little bit like this suede down here except it doesn't feel the same it feels slightly different than what's down here then you got your leather panels right here on the upper. The tongue itself is all nylon, which I like. The tongue, which 
apparently, you know, talking to my friends, I guess the biggest issue that they have with mids versus lows is the fact that the tongue is so darn big on the mids. And if it was a high and you had the additional uh, eyelet and material, it would sit right on top. It would, it would align. I mean, I don't get it personally because I mean, a tongue is a tongue, but hey, you like what you like. Uh, this nylon tongue uh, features uh, the Jumpman emblem with air as opposed to Nike Air as it would have if it was a high or zoom air. Um, and the inside you have uh, just a regular um, insole that has a Jumpman on it. Um, and like I said, it's just a nice smooth little kick. Um, again, I think I like it, but you know, that's just me and my humble opinion. I'm a mid fan and I like uh, how they did this and I love the materials, um, especially this nylon. The nylon actually works. I like, I like, I mean, in my opinion, nylon is a lot easier to clean. Um, sometimes in leather, depending upon uh, the type of dirt you get on. But um, yeah, so these mids right here, um, I've seen these in this red uh, with the red heel. I have the pair that are uh, with the blue here or whatever, like hyper, I forgot the colorway. I don't know if it was like, Hyper Royal, Sport Royal, or whatever, because they keep, you'll, you'll say, uh, we'll say Royal Blue, and Jordan will say Hyper Royal Blue, and you'll say Fire Red, and they'll say some other color, Varsity Red, or whatever the case may be, just, we, we know what it is. Um, also seen um, a, another pair like this that, where the, uh, the red is actually purple, um, and I'm pretty sure those Ravens fans are definitely going for those and i also have a pair that had like the that were the oakland athletics colorway um so pretty much you know jordan brand just been playing off of this uh model and this color blocking and is changing keeping i believe the iglo colorway for the most part up top but just changing the color blocking where this red is and changing it to different colors like i said i've seen with this this clock color blocking as is i've seen this change from this is blue that's blue this is purple that's purple and everything else on the sneaker is pretty much the same and it works it works very well so anyway um i'm gonna go ahead and hit you with some on the feet shots of these let me know what you think in the comments So I've hit you with the on the feet shots of these. Again, these are the Air Jordan 1 Mid. Don't have a name for them other than, I guess, the Broken Man's 1 Mids. I actually don't call them that. They're the uh, the Track Red, uh, Track Red, Igloo, and Black. I think that's what I said. Uh, the retail for 125. Uh, they've already released on Nike through the Nike app. Uh, you should be able to find these um, in some retailers. I know they're gonna be still be restocking because, uh, um, I've seen plenty of mids restock on as long as they weren't like limited mids in the sense like uh, they came out on sneakers or something like that. But for regular mids and even lows, they've restocked them quite a bit this year. So be on the lookout for these. Um, again, retails 125. I like these. I'm gonna wear them. You should wear yours too. So thanks for tuning in. Uh, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed. Go ahead and leave some comments. Let me know what you think. And I'll catch you next episode. Thanks.